Stop, you don't, you don't catch my phone. You hear me? You hear me? You hear me? You hear me? Get out my mom's car! 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 You're doing illegal things! An officer was hitting me forcefully as he tried to take my phone from me. Lazendra Collins describing the traumatic encounter. These images of a police officer swinging his baton, Collins says, capturing the terrifying incident. The officer seemingly trying to take her phone. He tried to snatch it from me. I didn't let go. He hit me twice. He hit me here on my arm, on my hand, uh, on my leg. I have two baton marks on my leg. Collins showing us these still pictures of what appears to be baton-shaped bruising on her body. It all began in the chaotic aftermath of Sunday afternoon's controversial incident. Collins says trouble came her way as she sat in traffic in her SUV with her family. They ran up to our car and hit our car twice. The first time it was just a hit. And then the second time they hit our vehicle, it busted the back window and shattered. Get out my mom's car! Get out my mom's car! Get, get out my mom's car! Get back! Get out my mom's car! You're doing illegal things! You're going into my mother's car! Get out my mother's car! That's my mom's car! Give me my mother's keys! Get back! Sir, give me my get mother's back. keys! You can hear an outraged Collins demanding to get her car and phone back. Collins, who says she has relatives in law enforcement, tried to get names and badge numbers, only to discover that the officers in her immediate view seem to have their names and badge numbers covered up with a black band. Police later taking relative Lawrence Teague into custody, charging him with disorderly conduct releasing him the next day. It won't be tolerated. We are actively at work identifying the officers who are responsible for that. In my view, now this is going to be the superintendent's call ultimately, but in my view, they forfeited their right to be Chicago police officers. Strong words from Chicago's mayor, not just on the covered badges, but also on images showing Chicago police officers making obscene gestures uh, to marchers at a recent protest. As for Chicago police, News Affairs says, quote, all uniform police officers are required to wear their unit assignment designator, nameplate, and prescribed star so that they are clearly visible. CPD holds its officers to the highest professional standards and violations of the department's rules will be addressed. Now, sometime, of course, Chicago police mourn their lost comrades by wearing a black band on their badge. We reached out to the Fraternal Order of Police for comment to try to get some context on this. No word yet from the police union. In the newsroom, Julian Cruz, WGN News.